Well, that's one way to get rid of the trees, that's for sure. Hi people and welcome to a new Minecraft mod video. Today I'm going to be looking at Mindjika 2. Now you may remember some of you a while ago, quite a while ago actually, that I did a video on Mindjika 1. Well Mindjika 2 is a new and updated version with better stuff and just generally better. Yeah and it's multiplayer now and all that good stuff because it's forge compatible and all that things. So What's this mod add? Well, it's like adding the game of Magicka to Minecraft, pretty much. You can see in my bottom right, I've got all my spells there. I've got... I can cast some random spells if I wanted, like, type... If I type in the letters, it will put the spell on my bar. But, of course, I can't cast it yet. I actually need stuff to be able to cast. So... What do you want to do when you start playing this mod? Well, one of the first things you want to do, if I go to my crafting guide here, is to make this... Where's that book? It's the book. This book. So you're going to need a magic dust, two feathers, two ender poles, a book, and some paper. Now you wonder where, what the hell is magic dust? Where do I get that and what does it do? Well, it drops off enemies. So you just kill some mobs, you'll get some magic dust. Now also these magic dust can be upgraded into better versions. So you can have the advanced magic dust, which is just nine magic dust in a crafting grid. And then you can upgrade further to an epic mag magic dust. Now, the better ones r may give you better mana back. The The green bar at the bottom right is your, your mana. You're going to need mana to be able to cast stuff. Now, also, the better magic dust also has some other uses, which I will show you in a bit. The value doesn't really matter on the magic dust at all. So... See, it's got value, but it doesn't really matter. And it's got generator speed, which I'll get into a bit. These are the generators. So, you've got your book. You're going to need to make a staff now. So, you want to make probably your basic staff, which is just one magic dust with some sticks. And now, if you want some better staffs, there is a wide variety of staffs. I will go into what each one does. But, basic staff just has no abilities. It has a power of one. Then you can, you can upgrade it into an advanced staff, which you're going to need advanced magic dust for this. And this is a bit more power, which means you do more damage and more healing and things like that. And then you can upgrade it further into an epic staff with an epic magic dust, and that has even more power. Now there's also a load of elemental staffs, you can see it here. You, you generally need an, uh, an elemental staff, which is an, an epic staff upgraded. And to get every epic staff, you need a never star. So yeah, to get most of these staffs, you're going to have to defeat the Wither Beast. Which is kind of annoying, but and kind of expensive. But that's what's in the mod. So you need the never star, you get the epic staff, you upgrade it into the elemental staff. And then with the elemental staff, you can make it into one of the well elements. And each element staff has a active ability, so... The water stuff will fill moving water where you shoot. And it also has a passive, so that has underwater breathing, for example. What else we got here? We got the life staff, which is gives you regen and heals nearby stuff if you in your active. We've got lightning strikes and wet shocking. We've got cast slowness on enemies and grants you immunity to slowness. Arcane staff gives you shoots death roll. I don't know what that is. But it also does continuous AoE damage. Then we have Earth Stuff that does pull down. It pulls things down, apparently. I, I'm still unsure what that is. Also gives you some damage resistance, so that's kind of useful. Then you have a Fire Staff, which shoots a fireball. You would kind of expect that. And gives you a fire immunity, so you can go swimming in lava. Then you have a uh, Steam Staff, which pushes back entities. And it will give you, like, sort of... If you're falling down, it'll make you float. And the final one, the Ice Staff. It freezes water and gives you cold feet as a passive. So maybe you drop snow as you walk with that. I'm not sure. In fact, we probably should try it out. Let's try out some of these staffs. We have some here. Let's see if this gives me cold feet. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it'd do. And my active just shoots the beam. Oh yeah. Where's the spider? Beam! Beam! Beam. Oh, 
I can't... No, that beam was from my magic side of my bar. I'm not sure what my active does. I'm really not sure. What is my active? Freeze of water. Oh, that's why. What's an absolute plank? Now I can freeze water. Freeze water, please. Freeze. Aha, there we go. So you actually have to be in the water for that to work. So that's the example of the ice staff working. Like, if I had the steam staff, I'd be able to push back entities. Push back. Push back. Push back. Yeah, have that push back. What's my... Oh yeah, float falling. So if I drop down... Ah, uh, don't fall. Oh, that's still falling down quicker than I thought. And you can probably work out what some of the others do. I'd let you try them out for yourself. So this is all the staffs now. I'm going to take a epic staff because it has a gr good power. So as I said to cast magics, you not only need the magic book in your invent... I think it needs to be on your bar or your inventory, I'm not sure. And then you need your staff to act in your actual hand to shoot. Now, when you start the game, you won't actually have any of the spells unlocked. You have to find these altars and... Well, I've got nothing left to unlock. But if you right click on these, it will get rid of this building, give you a scroll and give you something to unlock. So there's, you can see there's eight unlocks for the different spells, but there's also magics you can unlock. And if I look at magics in my book here, yes, you can open up the book and it tells you everything you need to know. So there's some different magics here I can do as well, like haste, uber thunder, rain. I can make it rain. I might do that. I'll show you that in a bit. So, let's get casting some spells, shall we? So, let's start with just the water. I'm going to use... The more, you, the more you use of one element, the stronger it's going to be. And that just puts water everywhere. Yep. It douses fires as well. And then we have the, the life beam, which will heal things. We want to shoot things with it. And you can just see what everything does here. Where's the spells, see? And, well, the next one is shield. You can only have one shield, and then you can have a shield of, like, whatever element you want. So if I wanted, like, a cold shield or a life shield. No, that's mines. I've, I've put life mines down. Damn it. <laughs> uh, some of them do shield, some of them do mines. Life ones do mines. I think the, the beam spells, which, so the arcane should do mines as well, I guess. Yes, arcane mines. Boom! That would do a lot of damage. Let's try shield with water. Water shield. Yeah. And I've got an effect on me. Let's try... No, that's not what I wanted to try. Let's try... Sh oh, I wanted to try the shield. Shield with this. The cold. It gives me a snow shield. So useful, right? And then let's try it with lightning. Lightning shield. Oh, that's the best one. Look at that. The effects are amazing. I've got slowness because it's been standing in that rubbish. And let's try shield with these. Oh, we've already done that. That's mines. Let's try this with earth. This one's interesting. Boom. There's a lot of rocks in the way. And with fire, this should be interested as well. And everything gets on fire. Yeah, you might not want to do that one as much. <laughs> but yeah, there's fire shield. You can also do like, like area of effect spells as well. So example, if I had like, you know, like this would beam. But if I did this, then it wouldn't beam. Oh no, wait. So this would beam because it's got so much water in it. But if I did it again with... There's a modifier you can do. You can do an AoE. So you can turn like lots of things into an AoE. Not everything, but most things. Probably should continue it on, showing you all the spells. Here's the cold. That will put snow everywhere. And then you got the lightning. Yeah! You can become a real Darth Vader Sith Lord right now. Then you got 
the arcane, which is a beam. I kind of like to do beam with fire or earth, maybe. Oh god, what is this? That's the wrong thing. I wanted to do beam with fire. There we go, fire beam! Yeah! And of course we've got earth, which is like a projectile. You can actually do uh, arcane projectile. Cool. And then you got fire, which will set everything on fire, as you would expect. This is very destructive. I do not advise using much fire, unless you know what you're doing. So let's look at some of the elements. You can combine like all sorts of crazy stuff. So if I just type Y-U-I-O-K-L, can I combine any more? No. Give me some more stuff to put in this. Look at that, that's a uh, mines with life and water. Seems legit, right? Look at that. Anyway, I could go on forever about that, like trying to combine different stuff. If you've played Magicka, you know what's up. So I'm gonna look at some of the magics now. Now, here's some of the magics. So if I wanted to cast haste, I'd have to do exactly as here and use like the modifier button. So what is haste? It's lightning, which is H. Then Arcane, which is J, and then Fire, which is L. And then I'll get this, and then press F, and I get speed. I get haste. There we go. Look at that. So pressing F activates my magic like that. Or if I had right clicked, it would have just shot some kind of beam or something like that. So let's have a look at what, what else do we want to see. Rain, do you want to see it rain? I'll press Y. Then I need steam apparently. Now, steam is another thing you can get. To get steam, you need to press Y and L. Water and fire together will give you steam. And now I can make it rain apparently. Maybe. Oh, no, I need to get my staff. There we go. It should stop raining, although I'm in the desert. Probably not going to work. Let's go over here. Yep, see, it worked. Rain. It's casting the magics. What other magics have we got? What's interesting? Uber Thunder. That sounds amazing. So we need to do YL, YL. Two steams. One lightning. And we need one arcane. And another lightning. So let's get my staff. Press this button. He used it. I didn't see the thunder. I guess it's because it was raining. Let's try it again. Let's try that again. I want to see Uber Thunder. It used it. So it's two steam, a lightning, an arcane, and a lightning. So Uber Thunder, please. Maybe it just doesn't do it in the desert because there's no rain in the desert. Let's do it right here. There we go. Apparently there was some Uber Thunder. It doesn't seem any more Uber than normal Thunder, though, really. <laughs> what else is interesting in the magics? Invisibility? That probably just gives you invisibility. Vortex, yes. Let's do a vortex. Let's go over here. Yes, vortex is good. Let's do it on top of here. Okay. What is vortex? It's ice. It's just another one of them ones like steam. So you, ne you need water for this again, but you need cold. So YO. Then a, a beam. which is An arcane beam, which is J. Then YO again. Then shield. Then YO again. And then... Let's give me a vortex. Yep, there's a vortex. And this will just whirlwind the crap out of everything. Look at that. It's going mental. Mental, I tell you. Oh, look at that. I don't know how... Oh, it doesn't continue forever. Well, it just decimated that sand dune there. Awesome. I'm going to make a day right now. Times... Set zero. Alright, so we looked at the staffs, so we looked at some magics, we looked at just using the like normal spells and combinations. Now, back to the dust I told you about earlier, and you need the dust to get your mana. Now, there's actually a way to get more dust. So, you can build these sort of generators. I have some in the chest here. We have a Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 generator. Mark 1 has some stats, so it can, it, it can, it can make one dust per sec. It can, its max speed is 1 DMP per dust, so every dust to give it 1 DMP. I don't even know what DMP stands for. 
dust magics per second. Who knows? And the max total speed is 16 dust magic per second. And there's a search range of 3x3 three three blocks. And that search range is... It can take stuff from chests. Or you can just throw it on the floor. And it will speed things up. So you only need 16 dust really. And it will give it the max speed of 16 per second. And... You know when it's doing something when it's spinning around on the top. So at the moment it's made 34 magic dust. I'm probably not explaining this too well, am I? But just let, put it this way. Dust generator 1. You put a ch any chest around the side or you drop items around in a 3x3. Three three, it needs dust. So you store your dust in the chest. You have 16 in there. It doesn't matter if what dust it is. It, it just matters that it's A dust. And then its output always gets put on top. So if you don't have a chest there, it'll just spurt out. So I put a chest, just uh, a chest there. Now this next one makes dust a lot quicker. This is the dust generator mark two, and it its max speed is 12 DMP s per dust. So that gives you a max total speed is 768 dust magics per second. I don't even know if it is dust magics per second. I probably should look in this book. Look. Here we go. DMP. What does DMP mean? It doesn't even tell you in the book. Generates magic dust, hence the name. So, this probably explains it better, so read this. Don't li <laughs> Probably don't listen to what I'm saying. But this generates things a lot quicker than that. I would say 16 times quicker than that, maybe. And yeah, I just put a load of random dust in there. And that's generate this generates advanced magic dust. And this one, advanced makes epic magic dust and you can see this one generates a lot quicker but you need a lot more dust in here with each one you need a lot more dust in the chest to get it to the max speed but each one runs faster so yeah want to see the recipes for these why not may as well while we're here so for the first dust generator you need some magic dust you need an emerald you need a glowstone and you need a glass now the level 2 one, you need 6 advanced magic dust. So you're probably going to have to generate a lot of magic dust and put, them in, put them in a 3x3 three three crafting grid and then make 6 of these. Then you need an emerald and a glowstone again as well as the original Mark 1. And it's pretty much the same recipe for the last one. You need the Mark 2 generator to make the Mark 3. You need emerald and glowstone again. And you need 6 epic magic dusts. So there you go. Confusing, I know. I, I get how they work, it's just explaining them is not my greatest point here. But you got this book, you got the forum thread as well, link in the description where you can go and read up more about it. So this is the Mind Jika 2 mod. Play away with your spells, your different staffs. I'm not sure about having Neverstar used for most staffs though, it's kind of expensive. And of course a lot of stuff has durability. And of course you've got your mana bar as well so you can't just spam stuff. But this is probably the best magic mod out there I would say. Or, yeah, in my opinion anyway. Of course, it's going to be my opinion. But anyway, that's it for Magicka 2. Hope you understood what's going on here. It's basically magic in Minecraft with some dust generators. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.